Hey everyone, my name is Miss Elizabeth and I work at the Lovettsville Library. Thanks so much for joining me today. So, have you ever had a really slow day and you've been wondering, what is something I can do? Well, if you have a piece of paper, there are a bunch of cool things that you can do. You can make magic, you can make a flower bloom any time of year, and you can make a paper airplane that I can almost guarantee you've never seen before. So, that is what we are going to do today in this program. I'm going to show you how to do it with just a piece of paper and scissors. That's what you're going to need for every single one. So, for our very first project, we are going to do a magic trick. So, for this craft, you will need, it's very simple, a piece of paper, some tape, and some scissors. So the first thing you'll want to do is cut out a strip of paper. You don't want it to be too narrow, and you don't want it to be too wide. So, about an inch and a half or so. A strip about that wide. Once you cut it out, you're going to have a strip of paper that looks just about like this. So, you're going to want to twist it once. Now, if I were to make a circle just like this with the paper being twisted once, it would make a very special shape. Do you know what that shape is called? It's called a Mobius strip. That's right. And it's a very special geometric shape. So we're actually going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to twist the paper. I'm going to twist the well, Here's once. I'm going to twist the paper twice. And then tape it together. You can also use glue. It doesn't have to be tape. But you want to make sure that it's going to stay together. All right, so now that you have your shape here, you're going to take the scissors and you're going to make a little cut right in the middle of your strip. And then you're going to cut this entire strip in half. All right, so once you get to the end, you're going to have your paper here and then you pull it apart and look at that. All right, so for our next craft, we are going to make a flower bloom at any time of year. And so what you'll need for this craft is a bowl of water, some markers, scissors, and of course, a piece of paper. So for the paper, you can either find templates online. You'll want to find ones that are in flower shapes and where the petals are about um, symmetrical and even, or you can always draw one yourself. So I have gone ahead and printed out this flower template and cut out my own little flower. So what you're going to want to do with your flower is you'll want to color it. Go ahead and do whatever colors you want. I'm just going to do a little dot in the middle and some blue for the petals. So once you have your flower colored, what you're gonna want to do is fold it up. So you'll take the petal and you'll fold it in toward the middle and then just keep going around until all the petals are folded down. With some kinds of flowers, the petals may overlap more. This one, it's not. All right, so now we have a flower that is all closed up. And this is where our, bottle, um, where our bowl of water comes in. So, when we put the paper into the water, what do you think is going to happen? Well, for one thing, this paper absorbs water. So when the paper absorbs water, that is 
going to make it bloom. Would you believe me if I told you this was a paper airplane? Well, I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. So what you'll need is some tape, a straw, some scissors, and some paper. You can use either cardstock or regular paper for this. So what you're gonna want to do is cut a strip along the bottom edge of the paper and you want it to be about two inches thick. Next, what you're going to want to do is take the longer side of the paper and cut another strip that is about two inches wide. And what you're going to do is you're going to have two strips of paper that are a little bit different in size but the same width. These are going to be what helps fly your airplane. All right, so once you have the two strips, you're going to want to take each of them, make them into a circle, don't twist them like in our last craft, and then tape them together. Now this is where the straw comes in. The straw is going to be the body of our airplane. So you're going to want to uh, make it so that the circles for your paper airplane are perpendicular to the straw. That means that the circle is sitting at a 90 degree angle from the straw. All right, now is the moment of truth. You have made your paper airplane. Can it fly? So when you launch your airplane, try to make the smaller circle face toward the front, sort of like the nose of an airplane. And if you want to learn about even more cool crafts, you can always check out the library's many wonderful books. And you can find our catalog at library.loudon.gov. Bye.